So I was at the pool on Wednesday and I was listening to these two guys talking. And the one's always a gloom and doomer and he's going on and on about what's going to happen. It's like he's making a statement and asking a question. What's going to happen when the currency system, the currency markets break down? We're going to all have to go back to barter again. <laughs> and I've heard this guy for a long time. And I just go, right, whatever. You see, I, I love currency. I really do. I love current C. I really love noticing what is, what, what things really are. You see, as far as I can tell, money is speed. That's it. Money is speed. If you want to buy something and you've got a barter, that's slow. And there's got to be haggling going back and forth. And there's got to be figuring going back and forth. It's like, see, if, if I'm a baker... And you want to buy a loaf of bread from me, and you've got milk, but I'm lactose intolerant, and all you have is milk. I have to tell you to either go sell your milk elsewhere, or trade something that I trade your milk for something I want, or I have to take your milk and trade it for something that I want before it goes bad. See, things get slow, so we have to figure things out. How much milk is a loaf of bread work, worth? What can I get for the milk? It's just nuts. And this is what I noticed. This is how most people live. They've got these en eternal, endless, inner arguments. And they wonder why nothing's happening. See, money is speed. Whether you're manifesting it, whether you're just enjoying it, whether... By the way, you're always manifesting it. Always. The question is how much, how fast... How much speed can you handle? How fast can you accelerate, decelerate, turn? <clears throat> See, a lot of people, they just measure 0 to 60 in 0 0.4 seconds or something. They don't factor in this thing called turning, braking, actually enjoying the view along the way. See, how many money speeds do you have? There's another thing worth noticing. Because not only is money speed, but money has different speeds. You can also notice how fast do you enjoy making it? How fast do you enjoy having it? How fast do you enjoy spending it? God, I've got a big box coming. Victoria discovered the receipt. She didn't read it, but she saw it was from Replica Furniture. Oh. Yeah, the other night at bedtime, I made a decision. All right, I thought about it, and then I made a decision quickly. Oh my God, talk about good fun. I just love eliminating scarcity thinking. Because as far as I can tell, almost all thinking comes from scarcity. That doesn't mean I don't want you to think. I don't want you to rely on thinking. Because if you let thinking lead, that's like, I, I love when people tell me I spend less than I make. I tell them I make more than I spend. There's a massive difference between the two. Those of you that got on that uh, Money Mastermind special, that 197, 195, whatever it was, you get why. Because it's not, it's money like speed. No, money doesn't like speed. Money is money. Money is speed. Money is a part of how you give life to speed. Money is how you get to explore speed. So I noticed when I thought about making a purchase, there was think about. And most think about is mostly away from. Lump it or leave it, it's really worth noticing. This versus that, which one's the worst? <laughs> this is why in Triple D we go into different is better than better. When you start exploring different, you just start discovering what's really driving the bus. And it's not what you think. Meanwhile, what if you played with speed today? How could you play with speed today? Where could you notice that money isn't what you think it was?
so many years ago. I was 40 when I got the crazy idea to change my name to the number of Perfect Vision because I noticed that I was weird. All my life I've noticed I was weird. I'd look at shit and figure it out and I'd just notice how insane so much of the world was ever since I was a little boy. Maybe maybe you can relate to this. Because I noticed there's two kinds of people in the world. One is the minority. I'm a minority as far as I can tell. I'm the weird one. I see through the bullshit. Always have. Hopefully always will. I imagine that I always will. And I'm not bragging. <laughs> I know it sounds like it sometimes, but I'm just having fun. You know, when you notice bullshit and you're willing to call it bullshit, your whole life changes. When you notice bullshit and you think I must be wrong because nobody around me notices it, you go a little nuts. Try this on. Money is speed. So I was a little boy, I just noticed things different. As I grew older, I noticed a couple things. There were two ways I could live. One from inner argument, two from vision. Neville Goddard talks about the state of vision. You can live from vision. You could light up the world. You could realize that you are the light of the world. You could live from vision. You could take this hunger, this music, this dance that's inside of you and express it and explore it, and express it, and explore it some more. And what happens is a lot of people stick themselves in the slow lane because they're afraid of letting their music out. They pretend it's about the money. Because they're really afraid of getting rejected over their music, over their dance, over their magic. If you got gold today, this is where I should give you a, a crass commercial for something specific. They always say in marketing school, tell them what to do. Tell them what to get. Remind them that a podcast is not the same as a program. I love the podcast. Meanwhile, I love you. I just want you to, if you're a visionary... If you know that, you know what, there's more to life than this inner argument between, see, you've got the rational side that argues with the rational side. You've got the rational side that tries to control the emotional side. You've got the emotional side trying to get the rational side to loosen up and party a little bit. You've got these knee-jerk reactions. They'll drive you nuts. The state, on, the state of visionary, on the other hand, has thoughts, has emotions, has reactions that serve it. But it's a different way of life, gang. If you got gold, go to NevilleGoddardStore.com. A couple things that are on my mind. The, uh, the surrender pack. A visionary surrenders to his calling. Oh, I should just leave it there. Surrender, or visionary surrenders to their calling. If I want to be gender pronoun. Neutral, correct. Non-offensive. Can you believe that? If I'm a guy and I say the word, a visionary follows his magic. Some people get offended. You just might. I don't know. I find the fact that people think that we have to rework everything so nobody gets offended. You see, that's, that's the monkeys. Ain't those mental monkeys. They just go back and forth and they make a lot of noise and throw shit at each other. On the other hand, the state of visionary knows, you know what? It's the message. It's the music. Let that out and all this bullshit won't matter. How fast can you let it out? When you stop making money the excuse, you start discovering the speed of you. One more little suggestion. We got that money now pack. We almost never talk about it. It's at Neville Goddard's store. Check it out. Have a lovely day. It's totally different than our other stuff. Maybe you've noticed our stuff doesn't duplicate. It often gets duplicated, right? Yeah, imitated, but never duplicated. All right. Have a lovely day. My name is Mr. 2020, coming to you live from Melbourne, Australia. See ya.